I think what gives us the most optimism is that this is a horse that really is starting to come into his own from a mental aspect. He's always been impressive on the racetrack and what he's done in the mornings and his preparations. But what we're seeing now, particularly in his later races, in the Louisiana Derby, I would point out as one of those, um, he's starting to really understand competition and learning how to fight. And uh, that's what any good horse needs to do. So there's no substitute for racing uh, because we can't duplicate that in the mornings when we train. But we do try to teach him uh, how to compete by placing him behind horses in the morning and making him catch up and pass those horses, understanding what competition is about. Uh, those things are important, but you can't rush what's going on in the mental aspect of, of a horse as he's growing up. And these horses, these three-year-olds, they're growing up right now, so uh, we're getting a lot of that. Well, the trip is obviously to be in position turning for home. Hopefully, we're good enough that we can do that. But where a horse is going to come from behind, uh, look, my history in watching the Kentucky Derby is very, very few horses that come from behind have unimpeded trips. The last horse I can remember like that was Mind That Bird. We need a Mind That Bird trip. You know, I, I, I really, going into it uh, in the Louisiana Derby, I wanted so much to have Lone Sailor perform well, which he did, uh, only getting beat a half a length to Todd Pletcher's horse, Noble Indy. I felt a lot of pressure going into that race because I wanted, personally, to be able to say something to the city and also to the Benson family about what they mean to me. Uh, so to, to have him perform well was, was really a special feeling. Now look, I, I can tell you all about dreams. I've wanted to be a trainer since I was a young boy. Uh, while other kids were dreaming about throwing the winning pass in the Super Bowl, I always wanted to win the Kentucky Derby. I got to see my first Derby in 1979, spectacular bid with Ronnie Franklin, and I was hooked. Uh, I was a senior in high school. I knew I was going to be a trainer at that point. I went on to college, and when I completed college and had worked part-time on the track, I went to work full-time on the track. So I know all about what the Derby would mean, but it's only been in my dreams so far.